What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the Breckenridge Brewery, and they're out of Littleton, Colorado, and this is their vanilla porter. So they're calling this one an ale brewed with real vanilla beans and with natural flavor. It comes in at 5.4% alcohol by volume, 16 IBUs at the time of review. I don't know exactly how old this bottle is, but it does have a best enjoyed by date of October 30th of uh, 2023. We're about four months away from that date. So this should be relatively fresh. So I haven't had this beer in a long time. I think the last time I had this one was maybe uh, pre the AB InBev buyout, which was probably what, like 10 years ago, maybe like eight years ago. I, I forget at this point. Um, but this was one of the first vanilla porters I've ever had. It might've been the first one. I don't remember, but it was definitely like one of the first three I've ever had. And I enjoyed it back then. Didn't like blow me away or, or anything, but I really did enjoy it and I haven't had it since then. So I thought I would give this a go because I found it relatively fresh and this is one that I don't see all that often. So we're going to give it a proper review here and see how it is. So anyway, let's pour this into the, I'm pouring it into the Great Lakes class because one of my favorite porters of all time, Edmund Fitzgerald Porter from Great Lake. So, you know, I think it made sense. So yeah, this pours out way lighter than uh, your typical like American porter. Uh, maybe because of the vanilla beans, maybe because of whatever reason, but definitely a way lighter. Uh, on camera, it's probably going to look pitch black or maybe a very dark brown. In person, it has like this deep mahogany color. Hold it up to the light and it just has like a mahogany color in general. But like it definitely isn't, you know, black or even like a dark brown. It's more reddish. Uh, the head itself is about a finger of a light tan, somewhat creamy looking head. I can see my sh the shadow of my hand through the beer, but cannot make anything out because it is a darker. But yeah, it's all right. Just a little bit off-colored for what I'm thinking. Anyway, nice mixture of like sweet chocolate and vanilla. There's this pronounced maltiness that is kind of just like straight malt. Not like an actual character, just smells like straight malt. It, it kind of has like an almost, there's also, what is that? Like a slight black licorice tinge in here. Not all that roasty, uh, more toasty than roasty. Yeah, you know what? It has a little bit of like a uh, molasses tinge. Yeah, so chocolate, vanilla, molasses, a little bit of black licorice. Slight earthiness. But for someone that calls itself a vanilla porter, I remember this being a little bit more, uh, you know, vanilla forward. And you can see a little condensation on my glass. This is right out of my uh, darker beer fridge that is 54, but it is warm out. It's like, <clears throat> what is it? It's fucking after midnight and it's like still like 70 something outside. Definitely humid as well. Anyway, it smells okay. I remember it smelling better, but then again, that was 10 plus years ago. So, you know, your memory fails you. At least mine does a lot. Anyway. Cheers, everyone. Also, it doesn't matter if it's after midnight, right? Let's just blow off fireworks. That, that was super loud. Like, that's unnecessary. They should get in trouble. That's ridiculous. Like, I'm all for, you know, around the 4th or on the 4th or whatever. I get it. Enjoy yourself. But, no, it's not even the 4th yet. And, like, that's crazy at nighttime. It really is. I don't even know if you're going to hear that on camera, but it was pretty loud. So yeah, the vanilla is a little bit more prominent in the taste. But this is drinking more like a generic ale as opposed to a porter, if I'm being honest. The base beer just seems like not, doesn't it have enough like porter soul to it to actually call it? If I was doing this blind, I don't know if I'd call it a porter. Maybe like a, you know, maybe like a, Deeper, darker brown ale or something. All right, so body on this one for 5.4%. Touch under medium. Yeah, I'd say it's like a touch under medium. A um, little bit thin feeling, especially considering it is a porter. The mouthfeel has a mild to moderate carbonation, has a smoothness to it, not really creamy uh, or soft or anything. I think the mouthfeel is fine. It, it actually is pretty solid, but it's definitely, a. I feel like it's a bit thin. The taste though. The vanilla is omnipresent and it does have a realistic vanilla kind of kick. It doesn't feel like synthetic or like they're using vanilla flavor. And it does say brewed with uh, natural vanilla beans and uh, natural flavors. But I feel like the vanilla beans, they're authentic and they're omnipresent. It's everywhere. I get vanilla. So the vanilla portion of this vanilla porter is nice. 
it's just the base beer for me. I don't remember being, for lack of a better word, I feel like it's kind of bland, the base beer. It's just kind of like there. You know what I mean? Like it's not, I think the vanilla character being on the palate a little bit more rich and kind of um, bombastic and like just intense, I feel like you need a better base to kind of hold up to it. And honestly, like that chocolate and molasses, everything I was getting in the nose, I'm not really getting that as much in, in the taste. Very slight toasted kind of brown bread quality. Maybe a little bit of like this, I, I would say, yeah, it has like a synthetic, like kind of like Hershey syrup chocolate kind of feel. Maybe that is the natural flavor. But it doesn't, again, doesn't come off as a porter to me. Anyway, pretty sweet up front, passes through the palate. The vanilla keeps uh, riding along, uh, kind of dissipates as it gets to the back of the palate. Midway to two thirds of the way through the palate, I get hit with this generic earthiness. This finishes full on dry with a mild bitterness, not really a bitter beer. But I, I guess the way to sum this one up for me is that it's not bad at all. I actually like the vanilla character, but the base beer itself is a little bit lacking and can't hold up to the vanilla character in this beer. And I don't remember that being the case, but then again, 10 plus years ago, like I, I you know, I was just really starting to get into beer and, and starting to try different beers. So like, um, maybe I thought more of this back then, but I don't remember like ever loving this one. I just thought it was solid and I'm kind of the same opinion. I think it's okay. Yeah, I'm going to drink the rest of that and not like be angry about it. I just, when I see vanilla porter, I want a porter base and I want that vanilla to ride on top of that base, but kind of be one cohesive unit. And I feel like the vanilla is kind of dominating. And then you get that slight synthetic like chocolate flavor that's like Hershey syrup-esque and the base beer just doesn't hold up to all that stuff. So it's not a bad beer at all. Uh, I think it's pretty solid, but the best I can do, and this is kind of like my default score for where like I don't like the beer, but I also don't dislike it. I can drink it. I don't want to. Vanilla Porter from Brackenridge. This is a 3.5 out of 5 all day. It's kind of in that range where it's like, yo, it's a, it's a solid, decent beer. I have, you know what? You know what? I very rarely change my score, but I like that vanilla. No, I'm going to keep it. It's, it's a 3.5 out of 5. I already said it. I'm not changing it. Not that it matters, but a 3.5 out of 5. This is a nice shelfy vanilla porter. I'm reviewing this as a shelfy beer for the month of July 2023, and that's what this is. But I think this is more in the range of a shelfy brown ale, or if it just said vanilla ale or something like that, I think it would be more reasonable to expect what I'm tasting. It doesn't have like a great porter base, but it's decent. Uh, price point availability, I got that in the... Um, Mix 6 a low, uh, location at my local Wegmans grocery store. I paid $12.99 for the Mix 6. A little bit more expensive than what it actually is here in my uh, area. I think it's $10.99 a six pack in my area. Um, by you, it might be a little bit cheaper, a little bit more expensive. It's fine. It's it's you know under two bucks a bottle. That's fine. And availability, I don't know with Breckenridge. We used to see a lot of their stuff uh, pre-AB InBev. And then post-AB InBev, we even saw more. And then it started dissipating. We pretty much get this. I think we get their Christmas sale every year. Um, their nitro, I reviewed their Nitro Irish Stout, I think, um, back in March. But outside of that, we don't see like a lot of their seasonals. I think maybe they're, do they have an, they have an Amber Ale, right? I mean, maybe we see that, but like, we don't see a ton from Breckenridge, to be honest with you. But I saw this one. It was relatively fresh. I'm like, I got to give it a go. It's been a long time. So if you've had this one before, post in the comment section. And I say this every fucking review at the end. You guys know the spiel. But I'm honest when I say this. I want to know what people, I like if there's a hundred comments in the comment section about this beer, I will re read and respond to every single one because that's just what you're supposed to do when you have a YouTube channel, especially as small as mine. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear your opinion on this. How was it? If you're somebody who used to love Breckenridge and then ABM Bev Bottom and you still continue to drink it, did the quality fall off? I can't really speak to that because I didn't have many posts ABM Bev. Um, but I'd be curious to know what people think about this one because this was one that used to get a, I don't, not any hype, but it used to be talked about quite a bit back in the day because it's the vanilla porter. You didn't have a lot of vanilla porters now. Vanilla porters everywhere. Anyway, 5.4%. You really can't taste it. Highs the alcohol pretty well. So I'm going to shut this one down. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Till the next one. Cheers.